Hello, I'd like to welcome you to this stream where we are going to be playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. And we're going to continue with Portugal. I just realised I do not have player led conferences enabled. Wait. Yes, I do actually. Yes, I do. So, we, we should be good. I forgot that I was actually playing with that mod when we were doing the Conquering History, uh, Conquering History Games game with Union of Britain and Commune of France. So, we had that mod enabled. And it was all good. So, it is currently January the 5th, 1944. The Communes have finally been beaten. The UK is back in the hands of Canada. Uh, France is back in the hands of France. Germany is still alive. Russia is a growing strength. I think Japan is also grown in the east, as is China over there. So, we've basically defeated the socialist and communist and other insidious forces like that. But, oh crap, that's 100, 200... And 60, 360. So I need to give myself 360. Which I think you do that way. Yes. Um, because that's a bug. I'm not supposed to pay out that stuff. So I'm still lacking 330 political power from when I actually took uh, South America again. So the colony has risen. Uh, we've taken most of South America back again. We have got Portugal and, in fact, the whole of Iberia. So our own strength has grown. The Entente is looking pretty darn good. So the Entente have Canada, we have South America, much of Africa, and um, Western Europe. Middle Europa, however, is still also very, very strong. And in fact, if we go to war with Germany, as I'm expecting us to do soon, because, uh, wait, Russia's, oh, Russia's in the Entente. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Okay, so maybe there isn't quite so much fuel in this game as I had kind of expected. I'd totally forgotten the un that Russia was in the Entente. Um, so I think the goal here is we're going to beat the uh, Middle Europa because I want revenge on them. This is all about revenge! Um, and then we will see what we do after that. So let's start just justifying... <laughs> on Germany. We're going to have to wait a while. Are we getting any focuses right now? I kind of, Yes, we are. Are we actually doing any of those repairs? Not really. So I'm going to cancel that so we have no focus, which means we are getting more uh, political power. But we are still like a year away from war at this rate. Uh, I may speed things up a little bit because I don't particularly want to wait around. Uh, we can get advanced artillery upgrades. That sounds good to me because we are, of course, superior firepower. And let's upgrade our rocket artillery to tier 2. Lovely. So we'll start replacing those units. We need to buy in a little bit more steel, which we will do from the French Empire, our great allies. Russia, unfortunately, would screw up Germany. Although, are they at war with Japan? I don't think they are, actually. I think that... Oh, yes, they are. Okay, so we are apparently at war with Japan. Oh, we are at war with Japan. All right, so maybe we don't want to go after Middle Europa just yet. We want to do something to screw Japan up. How many ships do you have? That is the most important question. Still quite a lot. How many ships do I have? Not nearly as many, I would assume. 21, and they're going to be pretty modern. Uh, well, maybe not. I still have a lot of destroyers. But my cruiser fleet is looking pretty healthy. And in fact, we could probably do with building some more light cruisers. Okay, we are still doing that. I think I might switch you two around. I want to emphasize the light cruiser construction. And then we can go after those. We do need a little bit more oil, which we can arrange. Uh, do I want to go after Venezuela? Are you in any factions? You are. You are in our faction. Um, okay, so we're not going to go for Venezuela. It's apparently on our side. We could go for Colombia. They're in the Andean Pact between them and Ecuador. But does that really gain us anything? What are their resources? There's a fair bit of rubber there, but actually we have all the rubber supplies from Brazil now. So that's less of an issue. And in fact, are we still importing rubber? No. We are a net producer, which is quite impressive considering we're still on free trade. So I am happy about that. Hey, Dana. Twitch may be derping, got no alert, you started streaming. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Twitch sometimes does that for some reason. I actually had a bit of trouble getting the stream started in the first place. Like, um, I'm auto-hosting Quill18 at the moment, and 
he wouldn't go away. It, even though I'd started streaming, it was still Quill. It was very strange. Uh, what I should do, though, is post about this on Discord, because I almost forgot to do that. Not everyone. Streaming now. Kaiserreich with Portugal. All right, that should do. Right, so we need to gather up our forces. We've still got the troddling group here, and we want to get them away from Brazil because they are suffering horrific attrition over there at the moment. Oh, right, Chile's not dead. Is Chile on anyone's side? Uh, they have non-aggression with my allies, but not with me. So we could go and roll Chile in if we wanted to. They have mostly got steel, which I could actually do with a bit. We are rather low on steel. In fact, if Venezuela's on our side, I think I'd prefer to buy oil from Venezuela than the AUS. Although they don't actually have very much left. I'm going to do that. And then that. Let's see if that changes anything. It does. Good. Right, so let's go and get Troddling. Uh, do we want to attack Japan through Russia? Who are we are fighting here? So we are going to be fighting against Mongolia. I mean, this is all terrible movement area. We could help them in Siam. Now, this is an idea I like, actually. Let's go and help in India. So I'm just going to do our little trick of just garrisoning, like, here. Or not. Why can't I do that? It's on Tom territory. I should have access. Uh... Cancelling current orders and then garrison? Nope. How about you give me access then? We should have access already though. So why can I not move my troops over there? That's very strange. Let's try just, yeah, setting up a front line here. Cool, that'll do. And that should get our troops over there. We'll just say, take everything up to this. Cool. So that's going to be you on your way. We do have the uh, Strakog forces over here, of course, which are our motorized. They're going to be super duper quick. I think I'm just going to say, go ahead, set up a line there, and take down to this. Right. And then last but not least, we need the Zorts ships just to make sure that we don't get intercepted on the way. Now, I'm expecting us to control most of the oceans. Only over here are where the problems are going to be. So I'm going to go and position you in West Bengal and have you convoy escort through this. Because that's kind of where I'm expecting my transports to come through. All right. I often want Quill to go away, but he never takes the hint. I actually really like Quill. Like, the reason I got into Let's Plays in the first place are because of Quill. And then he basically proved that there was an audience for uh, Let's Plays of Grand Strategy games, and that's kind of what got me started. So I kind of owe him a little bit um, for that. And I still enjoy watching his streams. I don't watch nearly as many as I used to. I just don't have time anymore. But where I can, I still do. Like, I started watching his Lizardmen play, uh, Let's Play just to see how it's different from my own. It's quite interesting. All right, so troops are on their way. They should be anyway. Oh, you're going that way. Right, of course, we can go over the Pacific, which is way more dangerous because Japan. Uh, <laughs> can I see any of your crazy, crazy lines? How exactly are you planning to do this? You're going past Japanese Hawaii, through here, and then around. I mean, I'm expecting Japan to be around here. There could be some Japanese fleets out in Hawaii area, which makes me a little bit nervous. Although they don't have any... Yeah, we have no intel about that. Hey, Troddling. Uh, hmm. I was not really expecting you to go over this Pacific, but knowing where you are, that actually makes complete sense. See, I'm not used to conducting wars from South America. It's just weird. Right, let's go and get you guys 
and tell you to go somewhere else instead. So basically, you're going to have to try and help us going across here. So the area I'm the most concerned about is probably these three. So one, two, three. You can garrison that area. Do we have any ports in this region that we can use as a base? We do. Oh, that's only you. Oh, that's actually mine. Oh, yeah, let's use our own port then. Hello, Portuguese Timor. Can I build any factories? Oh, I can build a factory here. Um, sure, build a dockyard over here. There we are. Yay, they're contributing! What's the problem here? What, what, what do you mean? Other than a world war going on. Right, so let's hopefully see that our transports get across here. Because it would kind of suck to lose our entire force at this point, wouldn't it? They have zero organization. They have a fair amount of experience considering they just fought across the jungle. And they should be extremely powerful. I mean, our soft attack, I seem to remember, is just utterly, utterly ridiculous. Yeah, we have a soft attack of 800. Our organization, even as manpower soft as this is, is still 50. So I'm pretty happy with that. Decent defense. Breakthrough is the one area that we are struggling a little bit. And that honestly is where the armored go-karts come in. They have a breakthrough of still only 156. Uh, but they are very, very, very quick. Their maximum speed is 12 kilometers per hour versus these guys. That's the wrong unit. Four kilometers. So they are three times faster. Well, at least we own the ocean. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, I'm a little bit surprised that Japan still has a navy. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to die rapidly. But that might still take a while. Um, so we have got fully leveled up mountaineers. Let's go and level up the marines as well. Just for that extra plus five organization. Seeing as I am still using marines and mountaineers in my forces right now. Alright. Oh. Oh, lend leases are cancelling. That's probably okay. Still a bit short on artillery. Still a bit short on rocket artillery. We have loads of infantry goods though, and we are still building some motorized. Do we have any more of those built? No. That's fine. Ah, where are my transports? I've lost sight of them! Hey Charles. There they are. <whistles> Alright, so I'm kind of babysitting these guys just to make sure that they get there. We have got Hawaii surrounded, and in fact, Canada has made a landing on whichever island that is. Um, Maui? I think? That's the big island. I think Maui is the second biggest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is Maui. Um, so we've landed in Maui and we should be able to expand out from there because it is all straits. So Hawaii should be captured without too many problems. And now we have light tanks. Light tanks I was producing because we wanted more breakthrough. So we can start replacing some of the uh, motorized with light tanks instead. Are there any breakthrough improving vehicles we want? Like, which has better breakthrough? You? <laughs> Light tanks, clearly. Better breakthrough. So we're using motorized rocket artillery, so we don't really need the light SP artillery at all. Um, so we can just go for the light tank artillery. That is cool. I'm going to allocate some production to that, I think. Uh, we have a surplus of rocket artillery, so I'm going to reduce the amount of those we are making and smack you all on light tanks. And in fact, you need to be upgraded. Do we... Oh, I think I just screwed up there. Uh, Want to spend money on a variant? I think we probably do. So let's go ahead and add some light tanks to this. Maybe something along those lines? So our breakthrough has gone up to 300, so it's basically doubled with this. We will need to have another 230 light tanks. Uh, go ahead. They will arrive over time. And we can do some new production. I'm not producing the SPE artillery because I don't really see the point. How fast are the medium tanks? Breakthrough of 66 versus your 46. So light tank, sorry, medium tanks definitely have a better breakthrough. 
Uh, your max speed is 10 versus their 14, so the light tanks are still going to be able to keep up with the motorized. So what I might do is try and start researching one, two, three, one, two, three. One of these, probably the medium tanks, in order to get modern tanks, because we can get them from next year. Uh, 44, we've done all of those techs. We could get some more resources, but we're free trade, so it's not going to affect us quite so much. Rocket engines, that we that's what we want, because that improves <laughs> the soft attack of rocket artillery even more. Like, we, we're still lacking 15% rocket artillery soft attack. So yeah, we definitely want to get rocket engines. Oh, that was Oahu. Okay. So which one's Maui? Is that one Maui? Or is that one Maui? I know Maui's a pretty big island. Alright, so we have force rotation because apparently I'm building aeroplanes. Except I'm not. So why am I doing air doctrine? Probably just because I have no other tax. You're trying to call me into which war? Oh, right, that's the bug where they keep on calling me into the same war. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, so apparently this one is Maui. My bad. Or is it that one? No, I'm sure Maui's a big one, so I think it's this one. Because it does have a bit of a bay. It's like, you go up in a mountain, you can see most of the island. I've, uh, Maui is... Have I been to the big island here? Yeah, I've been to Maui and I've been to the big island. I have not been to any of the others. Oh, Japanese. No, they're just soldiers. It's fine. It's not a navy. And apparently there's a naval invasion going on here. Cool. But where's their navy? We have not seen anything of their navy. And in fact, we're getting more and more control over this region of the Pacific. So I'm feeling relatively secure about sending my transports through here. <clears throat> and it looks like there's a lot of troop movements going on here. It's this area just getting flooded by soldiers at this point? Not really. Uh, ooh. We could attack them from here. I kind of like that idea. Except for the fact that there's going to be absolutely atrocious attrition here, probably. But, like, the entire Australian and French fleet is there right now, so it would also be a closer place to attack. I mean, we still have a bit of time before... Uh oh Ah, shit! They found us! No! Navy! Zords! Ah! Oh, one region away! Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so... Zords, let's just go and reset that and say... Protect that one, that one, and that one, then. And hopefully you get there in time. That's a lot of Japanese. We do have... Ah! My fleet has arrived already. Plus one aircraft carrier with... Four aeroplanes! That's basically what's been protecting my convoys right now. But now my cruisers have arrived, so we're going to see how they do. Downfall and stability, that's because we still haven't recovered, that's fine. I want to see how this battle goes. I mean, so long as we protect the convoys, that's the main thing. And that's why we have cruisers. I mean, my cruisers are steaming in really quickly. No! No! They're killing them! No! Run away! Run! Uh, Australia's lost a... Is that Australia or New Zealand? Uh, it has the star, and I think the star is New uh, Australia, right? No, Australia is white. Oh, is that? Oh, it was New Zealand. Oh, my bad. Sorry, New Zealand. I'm pretty sure that's not Canada. Is that Canada? Oh, Canada's the one with the crest. Okay, it was the Canadian fleet. So Canada tried to save my ass there. My cruisers are now seeing their ships off. I think the convoys are away and safe. We did lose... Oh no, they're still sinking them. So we've definitely lost one division. And we're losing some cruisers now. So the Japanese Navy is still not to be sniffed at. My heavy cruisers are just getting into position. The light cruisers have taken a beating and are still being sunk. Yeah, Japan, Japan's fleet still quite good. Ow, ow, ow. Heavy cruisers are starting to run away. More carrier planes have arrived, so we have actually got air superiority at this stage. Oh, we sank a battle cruiser. Nice. But I think we are now in full flight. No, there's another cruise uh, thingy arriving. Navies, we need you. Over here. Uh, Len Lease, you want to send me five Mark One something or others? Cool. Call to arms. This is... Oh, the Axis. I'm not at war with them. Sure, why not? Be fine. 
Uh, nope. Okay, so we are now at war with the Axis as well. That's interesting. Oh, I think we need more naval production. Because obviously that is where we are struggling currently. In fact, judging by how I've been upgrading stuff, I think that is what I have been preparing for. How is my naval production? I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, and we're not producing any of these tanks whatsoever. We are producing those, and we are very low in resources. So we should probably go ahead and buy some more oil. Which, unfortunately, Venezuela cannot provide for us. And France. In fact, I'm going to drop you completely. Because I want to buy them from the French Empire. Hello? And then the Commonwealth. There we go. Alright, we have sufficient. So how many troops am I losing here? This is kind of painful. Alright, so we lost four convoys, three light cruisers. I don't think it was any full divisions, though. And seven convoys managed to escape. And we, yeah, we were up against, like, half of the Japanese fleet there. Please don't be convoys. You're not convoys. Good. So where are my ships at this point? Still running. <laughs> still running like hell. And this is still Japanese-held waters. Alright. I think we're okay. I hope that we've done... Yeah, we have actually got friendly control over those areas. And most... Ah, they've left. Alright, so the Japanese... Note, the Japanese are still patrolling this area. So this unit is still in danger. But once they get out, we're okay. Ooh, advanced artillery. Okay, so <laughs> even more soft attack, because that's clearly what we needed. Marvellous. And I'm going to assume we already have all the doctrine. We were going to start researching medium tanks, so I'm just going to say go ahead and start doing that. All right, I need some tea to uh, distill my nerves a little bit. I wasn't expecting Japan to be putting up quite so much of a fight. I mean, my fleet, they were all tier 3. 1940 ships. I mean, admittedly, it is now 44. So they're at the end of their life. But they're still pretty decent. <clears throat> oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to upgrade the light tanks. I added them to the division, but I did not create the variant. That was a mistake. So I am going to go and do that now, and then I'm going to see... Oh, we only got 80 naval experience. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to go... Uh, no, we'll keep you. Light tank 3, variant. I would like you to have more armor, and then reliability, and then a bigger gun. Okay, not a bigger gun. The only thing that they don't need is more speed. I mean, so long as they stay above 12 kilometers an hour, that's fine. Maybe we'll do that. 72% reliability, that's okay. Speed is still fine, and it's not going to go any lower. I think it's only armor that reduces that. And this is also going to mean that these units are more armored, so they can take more damage. So let's go ahead and build the Mark 1. Yeah, go ahead. And the Mark 1. And I'm going to stick you guys above the Navy. And I'm going to drop these. Because I actually want most of my resources going to the Navy at this point. The Navy and the tanks. Because clearly that needs to get rebuilt. And also, who's not sending me enough metal? France! Damn it, France. Alright, uh, we will buy it from Australia. And India. And New England, just about. No, not New England, that's, that's too little. All right, then. We'll buy it from the AUS. Cool. Whose faction is the AUS in? Anyone's? Nobody's. So Canada could still go after them at some point. Yeah, I know the Triads want to give us some men. I don't really want them to, because I'd much rather the Triads sending troops to, like, the Russian front, rather than just fortifying Portugal for the rest of the war. It just seems pointless. So... As much as I want to give them a free holiday in Portugal, I'd rather they put them to better use. Which is why I have not been accepting them. Oh no, that's just a naval invasion, that's fine. 